In this video, we're gonna try Chicago's most popular hot dog spots, then at the end, tell you which are our favorites and why. And when I say we, I'm talking about this guy. Dennis Lee is an ex-line cook turned professional food writer who's known for scrutinizing and challenging the world of gastronomy through hard-hitting journalism, commenting on food, culture, and cooking. Now, one of Dennis's many pieces is a definitive guide on where to get the best Chicago dogs in the city. And it was actually such a hit that it made the front page of Bon Appetit magazine. In other words, this dude is a glizzy, glucking machine. He's an expert, and he knows where to get the best dogs in the city. He's also a great hang. It is a chilly spring day here in Chicago, which means it's basically winter, so we got a tall order. We're actually already at the first spot, so can we do it? Yep. Let's do it. Can we just get two hot dogs with everything? Do you want Chicago style or you want Byron style? Byron style. If it's not the same color as the relish, something's wrong. First dog of the day. First dog of the day. Of course, it's gotta be the healthiest, potentially, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, look what's on this thing. This is wild. I've never seen this before. There's multiple types of Chicago-style hot dogs, but what people think of yeah. has yellow mustard, diced onions, a neon green relish, sliced tomatoes, pickle spear, a sport pepper, and celery salt. But the thing that makes these really different is that there's lettuce, cucumbers, and uh, green bell peppers on it. And for me, I think that makes it like healthy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, breakfast dog. Dude, let's, let's, like, let's crush this like fiber. Mmm. Mm. And it's like a little Greek salad on a hot dog. This is one of my favorite parts about it, is that this is unconventional for a Chicago-style hot dog. Mm -hmm. It actually tastes good for you. <laughs> I think that's like a dope part, though. We can go to all these different spots, and it's not like we're gonna get the same thing at each of these places. This is the Byron-style Chicago hot dog. All these different stands have their own style. We'll get into it, we'll cover it all. Yeah, so you're not gonna see any other stands like with this combination. It's sort of polarizing, but you know, the people who love it really, really love it. There's also a lot of people who hate it this way, too. Those people <laughs> Alright, I think we got the general vibe here. Let's get on to the next one. Yeah, let's do it. This is like one of the signs of a really good hot dog spot. It's like having crusty crane game, crusty claw game, and crusty toys to go along with it. The dog dungeon. Hello everybody. Hi, how are you? We'll do uh, two chubbies, please. Everything added. Flub it up, chubs, baby, in the vehicle because it was a little noisy outside. All right, so. It came with tots and fries, why not, right? What did we get, what did we get again? We got, um, we got quarter pound hot dogs. <laughs> but so, these are just regular Chicago style dogs. Yeah, regular style Chicago hot dog. We got the quarter pound ones. QP, um, oh they're massive, look at that dude. We got them based off of the fact that they have natural casing. You can kind of see right here. And the reason why natural casing hot dogs are better, in my opinion, is because they have a snap. The thing is, people have different preferences, but when I think of a Chicago style hot dog, it almost like needs the snap. Yeah, and I, when you bite into it, I like that the juice kind of all pops out. What do, what do we got on this guy here? We got a cucumber? A raw cuke? That's different. Whoa. I'm a huge mm -hmm. hot dog. Yeah, the ratio on this thing. It's wild. It's all meat. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Byron's. Look at how that's holding together well, though. I noticed that between um, this dog and Byron's, neither of them had a poppy seed bun. This has everything with the addition of the cucumbers. Massive dog, easy to hold, easy to eat. Yeah, that's a solid dog. It is a solid dog. I will note that they have regular sized hot dogs at right. Flub Dub Chub. Right. This is a non-standard. You have to go out of your way to ask for the quarter pound hot dog. How do you feel about Vienna beef and all that stuff? Like, do you think a Chicago dog needs Vienna beef? In my opinion, most of the time, yes. Yeah. It just has a certain flavor to it. Although we're, 100%. we're going to one place today that doesn't use it. Oh, really? Sure. I have a whole video. We went to the Vienna Beef Factory. Unpaid. This isn't like a sponsored video, right? They just rip those signs, the little V's that you see everywhere, the Vienna Beef sign. It's just 
kind of become like um, a stamp of quality. So it's like when you're like looking at a hot dog stand and you see that glowing neon Vienna beef red and white sign, you know it's probably gonna be at least pretty solid. There's a couple cash only places. We have some cash. <laughs> Two char dogs, everything, please. Where are you all from? What do you want? Why is it that you're filming? Why do you have that camera in my face? Why are you filming? Because we're doing a tour because we love you guys. You know we're number one. In Chicago dogs. style, right? Can't do it any other way. Right? That's my little guy over there. What's up? <laughs> Astro, Astro suck ass. <laughs> no way that's real. <laughs> All right, baby, let's look at this thing. It looks to be just a normal Chicago dog. Onions, relish, mustard, everything on it. Sports on the side, I'm popping mine on. I like it like this, but this is a char dog. Yes. Char dog, so it's been charred on the grill, right? Uh, yes, and not every place serves char dogs. Sometimes you have to request them, but I kind of like them this way just because, you know, you get a little extra texture. I, I like it too. And yeah. also, look, poppy seed bun. Feel like you gotta eat, you gotta eat a dog like a taco. You gotta come to it. <laughs> mm. And you also have to push the toppings yeah. down if you want to get everything in one bite. That's a strong move. Yeah. That's a, this is an advanced move. Watch this for him. Yeah. Wow! Going for double like that with no rest in between? Mm. This man's cardio is on point. The char adds extra flavor. Look at that. That skin is crispy. That's why with the char dog, it's really important to have that, You're right, right. that skin. And there's a balance too. Yeah. Like there's, you can easily do it over. You know, you can, you can have like a dad dog. Yeah. You know, like a dad burger, Pitch a dense hockey, pu hockey yeah. puck that's basically a bouncy ball. You could have the this tubular version of that. But hear this out. Can you hear this? I don't know. Maybe too many buses. Huh? Mm huh? -hmm. You can feel it. We gotta talk about it. Wiener Circle. This place has been here for a minute. It's in a part of town. A lot of bars. People come here late. Really late. Like past 2 a.m. late. And there used to be something special you could order here. I don't know if they do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about the Wiener Circle is it's got a bit of a reputation for being pretty rowdy. Google Wiener Circle chocolate milkshake. The kitties, the kitties are flogging during the daytime, but at nighttime it's a whole different game. So if you're looking for that experience and you're in town here, come here late at night. It is good drunk food. It is <laughs> yeah. good drunk food. So. All right, yeah, let's go get the next one. Wow. So sick. You like the Gallery? All right, so we are at Vienna Beef, right? The Vienna Beef. We've been talking about them all day, and we're finally here. Actually, sitting in the shadow of the factory, right there behind us. It's kind of like the equivalent, I don't know, of like getting the grapes and bringing them to the vineyard. They literally make the hot dogs right there. I've actually been there. I got a full video on like a tour of this factory. And then they just bring their stuff, they put it here, they sell hot dogs. I don't know if there's a more quintessential Chicago style Chicago hot dog than this, honestly. The thing is a lot of hot dog stands in Chicago, if you haven't been here, they get all of their ingredients yeah, from Vienna literally Beef. Literally from the factory behind Including us. like the veggies, the mustard. The they, sport peppers, The sport everything. peppers, they all come from these giant buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're delivered that way. So that's why if you go from some hot dog stands, they will all taste the same. Right. Which isn't a bad thing at all. It's, that just means Chicago style hot dogs, are, they're pretty reliable. But it's fun to go to the spots that do it a little different, right. add their own flair things, right. and like add to the conversation rather than just like continue it, so. Right. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And I added this place just because it's directly, it's, it's like straight from the tap. How could you not? Right. This is like when people ask like what my favorite stand is, I generally will at least include this in the conversation because look, this thing is quintessential. Like this is a Chicago style dog to me. Right. All these ingredients on there that we mentioned that make up a Chicago style dog, they call that being dragged through the garden. You and I say that because we know a lot about food. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard like a lay person Say drag to the garden. Yeah, like no, not at all. <laughs> it's a fun fact to drop, but like no one's being like, yeah, drag to the garden for me, Ricky. Like Chicago stand, like you want me to drag to the garden there, Doc? No, like, no, like, no one's no, doing that. that. No one's doing that. But it is technically a thing, right? All in all, fantastic hot dog, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it's just got every little element on it. It's got all the colors, it's got yeah. all the flavors that you think of when you think of a Chicago style hot dog. If you Google Chicago style hot dog, a picture of what we just ate is gonna come up. The next place, not so much. Sacrifice to the Dunesi. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? Here's your weapon. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, so there's a lot. <laughs> oh Jesus, Jesus, my here. We're at 35th Street Red Hot Street. 30, right which is also owner of Red Hot Ranch. Yes. So we're knocking out two with one sort of case. And it's also like this is like a pretty legendary spot. It's right in the shadow of Sox Park, Southside Staple. If you saw the spot, it's bumping right now. So this is a depression style dog. It's a subset of Chicago style hot dog. These come with mustard, onions, hot peppers, and relish. It's minimalistic, but it's sort of like in that same vein with like a Chicago style hot dog where everything you want on it as part of one bite is yeah. your meal. This is, I think this is more of an advanced level eaters thing. Yeah, I usually knock some of the fries off. Knock then... some of the fries off, enjoy them later. There's yeah. no poppy seeds on this bun. Here we go. You're knocking two birds out with one stone with the mm. fries on top. Mm. Fries here are particularly good. Yeah. I've always liked them. Should we do some precautionary fat deal right now? <laughs> oh my god. Are you good? Put yeah. it on your dog. I think I'm... <laughs> The Adam style <laughs> hot dog. This is a Pepto commercial. The Pepto, the Pepto dog. <laughs> One thing that I really, really want to talk to you about right now, mm -hmm. super important, we haven't touched on it really, ketchup on a hot dog in Chicago. But it's not really a debate, it's just something that you don't see here. My rule of thumb personally, if you're old enough to pay your taxes, you're not allowed to put ketchup on your hot dog. You're just not going to see many people ordering it here. Uh, that are above the age of eight years old. I have a, I have a slightly <laughs> differing opinion. You yeah. do not put ketchup on a Chicago style hot dog ever. Just don't. No. You will get yelled at. You will get in trouble. You, have you to will ring get the bell of shame. They have well, a yeah, they have a bell in shame of shame in there. <laughs> you literally have to ring it if you order ketchup on your hot dog, and everyone's like. You, you can't <laughs> you ask for one when you have a Chicago style hot dog. I don't think it's bad to have, like at a backyard barbecue. Yeah. Top it with ketchup, who sure. cares? Like my favorite backyard barbecue thing, cause you know everybody's gonna have this, is the trifecta of ketchup, uh, pickle relish, and mustard. Yeah. yeah. Cause that's a guaranteed thing that everybody's gonna have. Right. People aren't gonna have all this stuff that we have at the hot dog stand. No, they're not gonna Chicago. have your fries. You're, if you're outside of Chicago, you're gonna be able to find sport peppers easily. Yeah, right. Maybe some minced onion if your host is a real one. I personally don't like it on my on my hot dog. I'm not a big ketchup guy in general. It's just a little sweet for me. Maybe with fries, maybe. But you know, do do you do what you no, love? I don't care. Do what like, makes. I happen. really don't care. And for somebody who's a food writer and supposed to be super opinionated about this, yeah. I like stop. I don't. <laughs> I don't give it. I like just. Live your Enjoy. life. Live your life, baby. Yeah. Where are we going next? Uh, I believe Jimmy's, right? All right. Jimmy's! Two dogs with everything in a side of hot sauce. We're here sitting in front of this beautiful garage. <laughs> This wonderful ambiance. So let's just hope the homeowner doesn't come up. <laughs> we got our Jimmy's Dags. Ooh, that's a grease oh, ball. Wow. <laughs> and then what do we got here? This is the hot sauce you were talking about? Yeah, so Jimmy's is a place where they're super anti ketchup, but you can ask for a side of hot sauce if you want to dip your fries into it. I love this stuff. It's kind of, it's like sweet and smoky. It's, uh, I believe it's habanero hot sauce. So it's like Chicago ketchup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh, if, you, oh. if you say the word ketchup anywhere in there, they will. <laughs> Probably kick you out. Damn, so we got another, so the depression dog. Yes, it's another, another depression, depression dog. dog. Okay. Look at that. So, oh my god, big. That's a Serrano. It's There's a, Serrano. a couple places that serve Serranos like this. Yeah. That pepper is going to kick your ass, probably. But oh, yeah. Particularly. Oh, my, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I'm rookieing out right now. Well, look, now. like I'm about to do oh the same thing. Oh my Jesus, dude. Okay, this is 10 out of 10 hard to eat. Okay. Yum. You know, the one thing we didn't talk about what? yet was Jimmy's. Um, as a place. Not that it's unfriendly, but you have to know what you're gonna get when you go in there. It's fast moving. If you're not ready to order, <laughs> don't get in line. But there's only a couple things to get there. Tom, 100%. I think it's like tamales, hot dogs, and polishes, and um, everything comes with fries like this. Double 
Then on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. What up, YouTube? Shout out, Martinez family. <laughs> Baby. Okay, so oh, Gene and Jude's. This place is legendary. Growing up here, you know, most of the hot dogs I consume were in the burbs where I grew up. This place is kind of one of those spots that you, your friend's parents or your own parents might like be like, you know what, we're going to Gene and Jude's today. It's it's a legendary spot. So I didn't include it on my Bon Appetit list because it's actually in River Grove, which is not in the, the city, city proper. Right. So if you're staying in like the city, it's not that close. It's a drive. I got so much shit for not including it, but yeah. I, you know, I had to I had to give myself yeah. like um, a border, and this just happened to be it. I didn't even realize before starting this, and I'm embarrassed to say this, but I got to keep it real with y'all that this is a depression dog. We've had three back to back to back to back to back depression dogs today. This is one of them. I thought it was just a Gene and Jude's thing. Yeah, no, it's a, it's its own style. Um, it's again, the kind of dog that's built in with the fries on top. There's something a little different about these dogs. We're going dual weenie. We got two dogs here. They're on the smaller side. I almost want to like unsheath one to show you, but these hot dogs, they're not that big. So you can load them up. Of course you can get a single if you're not obese, but Dennis and I just so happened to be in the indulgent type. So we both got doubles. It's yeah. not like we've had seven hot dogs today. <laughs> they're called double dogs. I mean, there's something you can order at some places. Yeah. It's not an uncommon thing, but you won't get them everywhere. This is definitely a double black diamond as far as eating goes. This is one of the most Cheers, difficult my things dude. ever. <laughs> That's a really juicy hot dog. It's, it's, it's really juicy. I don't know why. We saw it. They had the boxes and there were Vienna beef. We've been eating Vienna beef all day. We went to the Vienna beef factory. These seem like juicier. Here's the thing, the fries, these are soggy. And some people really dig this type of fry. I can't sit here and say I do, but on a dog, when you're eating it with the dog, they almost melt into the bun and everything. You don't want them too crunchy when you're eating no, them together. No, that would be really, it might it would be really, It would be pretty tough to eat that way. This was always one of those spots growing up that you heard stories like, if you order ketchup on your hot dog, they're literally gonna yell at you, they're gonna grill you, it's gonna be a scene. And I remember just hearing that and being like, I almost wanna go just order ketchup on my hot dog to see what it's about. But it's funny, if you order ketchup on your dog, they'll kinda like jokingly tell you to go to McDonald's, which so happens to be conveniently placed next door to get your ketchup, which I think is hilarious. I mean, I don't blame people, I like ketchup with my fries, but the hot dog, you know, you're waiting until uncertain territory in Chicago when you do that. <laughs> the last spot is very exciting, and talking about difference in Chicago dogs, this last spot might be one of the most unique ones on the list. All right, so we're here at Superdog. This place is super old school. They don't quite have the ladies rollerblading out to your car, but you do order from your car, which is pretty tight. Can I take your order? Yeah, can I just do uh, two Superdogs, please? Hi. Hello. Oh, thank you. Let's go, the super dog. I think this might be the strongest presentation. It's, I'm sorry, the strongest like vessel in the um, game. Um, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? So, here's a super dog. Oh yeah. A super dog. They it's come with fries. The, the fries are unique, very unique. They're these little almost like nuggets. There's kind of a lot to talk about here as far as what's on this guy. Let me let me switch to and swallow. Sorry, mom. Super dog is a little bit different in that it's a skinless hot dog and these these sausages are made specifically for this family run hot dog stand. So it's got more spices. It's uh, it's and just got its own flavor. Themselves. There's the neon green relish, onions, uh, mustard, and a pickle. And there's sport peppers as well. There are sport peppers and they kind of are on the side. But one extremely unique thing that's tossed in the box is this guy here. Pickle green tomato. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they kind of evoke that Jewish deli thing, but but it's in a, at a hot dog stand. Crazy. It's something I really appreciate. Look at, look at the greenness of this dog here. So this is the classic, probably S. Rosen's poppy seed. Dennis is going and he can't even control himself. <laughs> 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 that is a great in between a jumbo and just one of those smaller Gene and Jude's guys. I think my blood pressure medication is working <laughs> overtime today. <laughs> Dennis, there's one thing, it's probably a lot of things, but there's one big thing that we have kind of not talked about yet. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I hate this question so much. Half the time I think it is, and just because it's something you hold in bread, like sausage in a bun, that doesn't equate to a sandwich necessarily. You know what I mean? I'm gonna say I still don't think it's a sandwich. I would, I would err on the side that it is a sandwich. I actually called it a sandwich when I was ordering it today without realizing, and it kind of reminded me of this question. And then uh, and they didn't them? even blink an eye. No, they didn't even blink an eye. 
So maybe they know. Maybe they don't. Huh. I don't know. Is a hot dog a sandwich? You tell me. Okay. We got to choose our top three. Third place goes to... 35th Street Red Hots. It's in a great location. I mean, it's right off the expressway. It's relatively easy to get to. They were the ones with the fries that had some texture to them. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they were still soft and kind of yeah. crunchy at the same time. And because of that, they kind of felt like a better meal than let's say um, Gene and Jude's where you could kind of just sure. mush through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Second place. Byron's. Yeah, we like Byron's today a lot. It was kind of like a salad on a bun today mm -hmm. with a hot dog, but that's the kind that, that was kind of the yeah, cool yeah. thing about it. I, we will admit that that was the first thing we had today. Mm -hmm. We were hungry, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it was the first time I can say in a long time that a hot dog's actually refreshing. Yeah. And the hot dog just falls apart on you. It doesn't matter, right. who cares? Yeah. That's why you need it sitting down. This is not food that you walk and talk with. You know what I mean? You sit down, you get your Green River, you sit in this like diner-esque place. Maybe you play the claw game. Maybe you want to stuff the animal. It adds to it. Yeah. But real talk, the, the the hot dogs itself was fantastic, and that's a that's an easy silver. Okay, dude. Can we get a can we get a drum roll? Water? Water! Hit it! Wiener circle! Woo! <laughs> It was that char dog. It was it was just that snap, that crunch. For some reason today, it was just everything we wanted mm -hmm. in a hot dog. Mm -hmm. You know, all these places they still deliver in their 100%. own way. It had the color, it had the snap, it had the salt, it had the juiciness, it had the trash talking. Yeah, 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 <laughs> um, yeah. Even during the day, even during early the in the day, 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 she was ready. By by tonight, she's yeah, gonna be warmed she... up. <laughs> and uh, not to mention the drawer of glizzy, dude. Oh yeah, Ooh. just like a full hot dog. I need drawer. one of those like in my nightstand. Chances are, if you're visiting Chicago, you're not gonna be too far from that neighborhood. It's it's kind of like um, tourist friendly, a lot of stuff right. in that area. Um, and if you're just gonna get one hot dog, yeah. I, I kind of feel like that that would knock yeah. that part off. And it would be fun to do it at night too, just saying. Like, go whenever, do your thing. But like, just know you're getting a different experience depending on what time of day you go. Right. You know, on every any given day, it's like restaurants, you kind of like, you either hit sure. it or you don't. Yeah. And so these were what we, we got today. These are what we hit? Yeah. You wanna tell the good people where they can find you? You can find me at foodisstupid.substack.com and I also have a Chicago newsletter called The Party Cut, which you can get to at thepartycut.substack.com. Um, you can catch my other stuff online. Uh, I'll do some freelancing for places, but you can also see my stuff every day at thetakeout.com. All right guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. Like and subscribe, you know the dizzle. We'll see you next time. We do this, we do this when the video is done, give them a little wave with a peace sign, yeah.